Hello friends, it's Sandra from Wallifier.com and WhimsyDreamsClipart.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a custom, you know, wonderful Christmas card for your friend or for your business, you know, to add on in your packages just to give that extra Christmas feel. It's really super simple using uh, Canva. In this tutorial, I'll be using Canva free, so all the elements uh, that we use in Canva are free, but I will be using my Christmas wreath that you can find in my Whimsy Dreams uh, clip art shop. You find a link to this wreath and other wreaths alike, <laughs> alike it uh, in the description below. So if you find anything that you love in this tutorial that you don't find in Canva, uh, you find it in the description below. Let's start creating this card. I start out by going to this little button here that is create a design and I just entered card here in the search bar and you find uh, different kinds of cards. For this card I will use uh, landscape a version of this card of a folded card because i know that folded card people think they are quite hard to create so i will show you how to do it so just click here and voila you have this uh, template here ready to go and to make this process easy for us i will start out by adding uh, grids to this design and I will add a grid to the back and the front of the card. Now let's add the uh, grids here. You go to elements here on the left side and press it and you find these grids. You activate the square one here and then you drag it into place. Uh, we will stop when we are you know in the middle of the design and you feel it when you drag it over the edge it's like you know a snap to grid function and so that we can center our elements we are going to nudge these edges in uh, we are going to expand them later on because we need them when we print. For this design process, it's easier if you leave the margins alone. And to copy this one, you go to this duplicate function here, or you hold Alt key and just drag. And now you make sure uh, that the that they are centered. You can zoom in a little bit, so you can hold the, the control key here and just plus and minus like this and make sure it's aligned to the center that's the important thing like this you can also zoom with this zoom tool here you find the zoom tool at the bottom of the screen like this and to make it easier for your eyes and you know it's more beautiful I will add colors to these elements as well so as we're going to use a watercolor uh, graphic I go with white because I think that's appropriate for this so go ahead and lock the elements so we don't uh, move them around if you know we are starting to add elements on top now we're going to add a watercolor wreath. Uh, I painted this wreath and it's available in my Whimsy Dreams clip art shop if you are interested in just this specific wreath. There are lots of wreaths avail available on, in Canva and you can just search for them here in the elements as well. Christmas. Christmas wreath. Let's see if we get any hits. So you find here, you know, different kinds of um, graphics available in Canva as well. Some of them are pro and some of them are free. So you can have a look here. It seems like most of them are for the pro version though. So they know we love, <laughs> we love Christmas. Anyway, 
we're going to add a grid here as well so we can move the wreath around without it you know expanding and making a fuss so let's go to elements and grids and we make it smaller just by dragging you know the bounding box here like this and we make it now you see how great this is when you have a back background of like you know this square here because then you can align it um, so it aligns with the background otherwise it will align strangely with margins and stuff so this is a really great way of making sure that your wreath or your graphics are centered in your card design and now we are going to add the watercolor wreath inside here now it's you see that my square that I my grid that I added ended up behind this white template here bounding box then you have to unlock activate it right click send to back like this and then it appears and then we lock it again like that now we drag it into this and you see beware here beware uh, of your graphic here that you are making sure that it's not cut off any edges so expand it if needed and adjust it then you can make it smaller by dragging the edges here and just align it to the center like this and then lock it <laughs> now we won't you know move it around by mistake when we do our text we go to text here and I found this Merry Christmas text layout that is free you find it here if you're scrolling down or if you write uh, Christmas up here so just drag it into the design like this and adjust the size so it fits the wreath like this and I want to change the color to my brown <laughs> I always use greens and browns but you can use of course any color that you want and I'm not Samantha Howells so I'm gonna write here my name like this and now you are ready to go to print this beauty you go up here to the little arrow here and you go to PDF print this is the option for uh, when you are printing stuff in Canva the other options here that are available will not print in 300 dpi and that is high resolution so PDF print is the option here so make sure the pdf print is marked and if you have green if you done it like me and you have green colors here you unlock first and you can unlock here as well and then you drag the these green areas outwards like this like this and like this and this is just to make sure that when you're adding bleed and bleed is this little area outside here that you crop off when you uh, finalize your card so that the edges are clean you know when you print cards there will be smears and smudges here if you don't have this safety zone so if you are going to cut your um, or <laughs> trim your card then i suggest you do it like this and you can also go to file and show print bleed like this and this is the area that you are going to cut off later on when you have printed your card so that you get this smooth line here so and pdf 
print crop marks and bleed if you have a color background and download like this and this is how the card looks and here you see the print uh, the cut marks here so you know where you can cut your card this is a super simple and easy way to create a customized card that are really filled with love so i hope you really enjoy this tutorial and please subscribe if you love my channel and if you want to learn more about Canva, you can always come and join our Facebook group. You find the link uh, down below in the description. And if you are super interested in Canva, I also have a course about uh, creating quote art and quote printables that you can sell in, say, your Etsy shop or something like that. Uh, is open for enrollment as well so you find all the links below and have have a great time now and create something beautiful for your friends or customers and i see you soon bye bye